Howdy. Want to share with you how to find a realist painter or photographer in art store and how to find a work of art that interests you and how to share it. Okay, so let's go over to uh, art store. We're going to use the link inside Blackboard, which takes us to Art Store via Miracosta. You go any other way and you're not really going to be able to use Blackboard. Takes us to an Art Store homepage. Don't worry if your images are different than this. They change them a lot. This is a nice collection of Harlem Renaissance art, though, probably because February is Black History Month. Anyway, you're going to go ahead and click Enter. And you'll get a search option. And you're going to type in the first and last name of your artist. I want to go with Winslow Homer, just because he's got such a range of stuff. Uh, so many different and interesting things. Because he was writing, uh, painting uh, during and after the Civil War. So I just think he's a really interesting artist. I click go and it's going to take me to a collection of Winslow Homer's paintings. And what I want to do, before I do anything else, I'm going to click to enlarge these for a variety of reasons. It's going to be very helpful for us to enlarge these so that when we can easily transfer images to Blackboard. So I'm going to go with the larger thumbnails. And I get a bunch of images that pop up, some of which we've already seen from Hughes and Hughes's discussion. But I think I'd like to pick something that Hughes hasn't already talked about. I think that'll be more interesting, right? To share something with uh, my classmates that maybe they haven't seen before. Um, this is an image that I think is kind of cool uh, from Eagle Head, Manchester, Massachusetts. But I'm going to keep scrolling and see if I can find something else that's intriguing or different or not what we've already seen. Oh, here's something interesting. Um, so I've clicked on the, the bather. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Blackboard because now I know the name of my painting and artist and the year. And I'm going to go back to Blackboard and I'm going to hit reply and type in that information as the subject line of my post. So I'm going to type in um, uh, Winslow Homer colon the bather and I forgot what was the year was it 1889 no 1899 wow that's late that's late uh, 1899 and put a comma after that so my header is going to be the name of my artist the title of the painting and the year now I'm going to go back to art store and here's the part you really need to pay attention to there's a simple trick that allows me to quickly and easily share this image with my classmates and you might have to watch this a few times to nail the steps but here we go I'm going to right click on this image and I'm going to scroll down to where it says generate image URL which usually means the web address and we could do that, but it'd be cooler if we could actually embed the image in our Blackboard post. So to do that, we need to select the hyperlink to the image viewer so we can actually see the painting in Blackboard. You're going to do that. You're going to copy it, uh, Control-C, Command-C, or you can go up through the menu and do it up there. But I'm just going to do a Control-C right here. And now I'm going to go back to Blackboard, and here's where it's really important that you make the right move. If you just try to paste this code into the Blackboard box, it won't work. You need to click HTML. So once again, you get the save code. You're going to click HTML. Now you're going to enter. Let me show, make sure this is showing up in the video. So that you get a pop-up for the HTML code viewer. And now you're going to paste in your code. You click update, and there you go. Your painting shows up right in your post. Uh, you can mess around with it, try to make it bigger, try to make it smaller if you want. Sometimes the clarity gets blurry if you make it too much bigger. So I'm going to leave it just like this for now. And then um, you go beneath your painting and you just type in a few sentences about why this painting interested you. Um, maybe, uh, for example, it seems kind of surprising for Homer to have such a study of the human body. 
or maybe the the fact that the painting seems to be a representation of an African American at the turn of the century intrigues you. Or maybe uh, something that's kind of intriguing is that unlike all the other Homer paintings we've looked at, the water seems calm and beautiful and lovely here, not the dangerous, threatening, swirling mass. Whatever you want to do, you just type in a few sentences, sharing your ideas, and you're off to the races. So this exercise is really about learning how to access art store, learning how to share images with your classmates, and finding some cool stuff that your classmates might be able to do something with. This painting is interesting to me because you got race and gender and all sorts of fun things to play with. Okay, hope this helps. Don't hesitate to call, email, text, whatever, if you need more guidance. Thanks.